Hello, I'm Jim Lampley. Through the bulk of his career, Mexican stylist Juan Manuel Marquez was overshadowed, at least in the hearts of Mexican fans, by his more celebrated compatriots, Marco Antonio Barrera and Eric Morales. But as Barrera and Morales began to fade, Marquez kept getting better and better and more and more prominent, a rise which culminated last December with his stunning one-punch knockout of Manny Pacquiao in their fourth fight against each other. Now as he prepares for his October 12 pay-per-view showdown, against unbeaten Timothy Bradley. Let's look back at Juan Manuel Marquez's greatest hits. May 2004, a rivalry with Manny Pacquiao, which would end up becoming historic, nearly ended within the first round. And he fires the straight left hand, and there's the punching power. This is why we use the word sensation. Third knockdown of the first round. And he caught Marquez going down, and I'm not sure Juan Manuel will be able to get up. Fighting through a first round broken nose, Marquez went on the attack. Marquez's right hand is finding the target over and over and over. He won the round big, and he's got Pacquiao bleeding from his eye. Hard right hand stuns Pacquiao. Pacquiao once again wants to fight fire with fire. Marquez pops him with the right again, Don't and he wants to land the left. And as Pacquiao looks off balance, Marquez scores against the ropes. And suddenly Marquez is in position to win the round. Okay, you can't afford to lose any rounds, because if you lose one, you're, you're going to lose the fight. As the fight entered the late rounds, the two warriors continued exchanging devastating blows. Hard left hand by Pacquiao. Marquez answers immediately with the right. They get ready to trade again. Fight comes alive. Pacquiao's hand speed coming back. Suddenly, he's more aggressive. Fire against fire. Down the stretch. Pacquiao's left. Marquez is right. What a battle. In a fight that helped to define his career, Marquez fought all the way back to earn a draw. March 2007. Marquez and Marco Antonio Barrera met in a highly anticipated matchup of Mexican ring warriors. Now Marquez lands a big left hook. Barrera lands a right hand in return. They trade combinations in the center of the ring, and both men land. A fight breaks out in the middle of the boxing mat. In a high-tempo seesaw battle, round seven proved the turning point of the fight. Hard right hand by Marquez momentarily stuns Barrera. Barrera trying to show that instinct for fighting back. That was the most eye-catching shot of the night. Another big uppercut for Marquez, snaps Barrera's head back, and a big right hand over the top. Marquez seizing the advantage in the center of the ring. Uppercut for Marquez, left hook, Barrera stunned, and in trouble, wobbles back against the ropes. Marquez looking to knock his man out. And Barrera comes back with a right hand. And knocks Marquez down. Amazing. Referee Jay Nady ruled it a slip rather than a knockdown and penalized Barrera a point for hitting Marquez while down. The three-point swing shifted the momentum in Marquez's favor as they entered the final rounds. Barrera lands two shots. Marquez tries again. Barrera with a right hand. Big left hook for Marquez. And the bell ends the drama. What a fight. What a confrontation. Marquez was awarded a unanimous decision by surprisingly wide margins. March 2008. Four years after their epic draw, Marquez and Pacquiao finally met again and picked up right where they had left off. Uppercut by Marquez, huge left hook, buckled Pacquiao. Down goes Marquez on a straight left hand shot. Perfect shot by Pacquiao. Pacquiao landed a quick right hook, momentarily lifted Marquez off his front foot. There's a perfect combination by Marquez. Down the stretch, Pacquiao and Marquez, for a second time, dazzled the boxing world with sustained back and forth action. They trade shots, what a war! Both men trying desperately to win the round. A brilliant Pacquiao left hand, which looked for a moment as though it was gonna knock Marquez down. Marquez going out on his shield if he's losing and showing you all the heart that you might expect from a great, proud Mexican fighter. What guts both fighters have shown tonight. One more right hand 
for Marquez. One more combination for Pacquiao. They trade shots down the stretch. The third round knockdown was the difference as Marquez lost a one point split decision. February 2009, Marquez faced rising star Juan Baby Bull Diaz for a lightweight title. Styles make fights, and it was clear early this fight would be a thriller. Diaz showing respect, but ripping Marquez with another left hook. Three body shots from Marquez. Diaz goes in with the right hand. This is gonna be a hellacious war. Big left hook by Diaz. Marquez trying to fire back, lands a right cross and a left hook. Round one is an all-out war. The furious pace continued throughout. Big left hook, staggers Marquez. Marquez in trouble and trying to fight his way out of it. Well, we told you how Marquez adjusts and comes on in the middle Diaz round. got caught with a left hook and he looked stunned. Diaz was bothered by the cut and Marquez went for the knockout in round nine. A huge uppercut, down goes Diaz. Can he make it out of the round? Look at him go to the body to try to set up the finish, and what a right hand, and that will be that. What you just saw was a really good young fighter knocked out by a great old fighter. Absolutely. September 2009, Marquez jumped up two weight classes for a lucrative fight with Floyd Mayweather. After a 21-month layoff, Mayweather showed no ring rust. And there's a knockdown on a left hook. Excellent left hook, and Marquez walked right into it. Throughout the fight, Mayweather's superior size and speed overpowered Marquez. He survived all 12 rounds, but lost the unanimous decision. November 2011, Marquez had a third try to get an elusive win over Pacquiao. Hard right hand by Marquez. Pacquiao was knocked back on his heels. Pacquiao landed a right hook and a left hand. Marquez comes back with a solid left up the middle. Most dominant round of the fight so far, authored by Marquez. While the aggressor, Pacquiao, pressed the action, the counterpuncher, Marquez, answered repeatedly. Hard right hand by Marquez, followed by another. Pacquiao with a right hook. Marquez with the left hook. We're picking up where we left off with the last two fights now. Good combination by Marquez, and another good combination by Marquez. Big left hand for Pacquiao, and that might have won him the round. What a tremendous round. The crowd's on its feet. We've got a fight in Vegas. Unlike the first two meetings, Marquez never hit the canvas here. But once again, a Pacquiao-Marquez classic was too close to call going into the final round. Marquez is backed off in the 12th round. Pacquiao only needs to throw another combination here at the end, probably to seal this round. This was a tremendous tactical error, I think, by Juan Manuel Marquez. The 12th round scoring proved the difference as Pacquiao won a controversial, largely unpopular majority decision. December 2012. Is this too much of a good thing, or is too much of a good thing a good thing? The fourth meeting of Marquez and Pacquiao would turn out to be the most dramatic. Hard right hand by Marquez, and for the first time in four fights, Manny Pacquiao has been knocked out, and he did it with his signature right hand over the top. Manny Pacquiao evens up the knockdown count, as he forces him to touch his glove to the canvas in round five. Oh, Marquez hurt man. Marquez and Speed are wobbling. Pacquiao attacks. Marquez still wobbling. But he is fighting back from some really killer shots. What a round. All out war in Vegas. In the final seconds of round six, Marquez redefined his legacy with one punch. That's another knockdown. He's not getting up. He's been knocked out. A sensational right hand knockout by a bloodied Juan Manuel Marquez. And that is the keystone moment of his career. What an amazing, stunning knockout performance by Marquez. To see more of Juan Manuel Marquez, tune in to HBO Boxing.